Oh, hi. <laughs> what up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We got Abby here. Yeah. Kyle over there. And Adam's in the bathroom. <laughs> and today is Ryan's birthday. And he is not here. So wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. We'll but be he'll be back a, tomorrow. We'll be having a birthday party tomorrow because I, I didn't tell him, but we got him a cake. Oh. So that'll be happening tomorrow. Not like a full on party, but we'll have a, you know, a celebration at the yeah. store. And we're about to open. We just got all the orders pulled. I'm gonna start working on shipping. Ooh, new stuff into the system. You guys have already seen it, but- No, they have not. Oh, they, they have didn't it. see this one yet. <gasps> this is the package that we opened for the bonus video, which is gonna go up on Wednesday. Ooh. Well. There's new stuff in the system now. You'll see the video on Wednesday. If you're really curious, go browse our website. So I wanted to remind you guys that once we hit 30,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, we are giving away a brand new PS5, a brand new OLED Nintendo Switch, and a bunch of other stuff. We're planning on doing some like Nintendo and PlayStation uh, like eShop cards and stuff like that. Uh, probably some games and some double jump merch and a few other items. So you're definitely not gonna wanna miss that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button. Well, Adam does some shipping in the background over here. I'm going to open up some packages that were just dropped off. Adam's not feeling too well today, so I don't know how much of the video he's gonna be in, but you get to see him at least a little bit right now. So we have packages from eBay, and then I think one from another game store. First, GoldenEye. <clears throat> Anything that's like a single game is definitely gonna be from eBay. Just like this one, Mario Party 1. Any of the bundles, I usually get those from other game stores websites because it's not worth it to just usually buy one game at a time. Oh, this one is taped up so much that I can't really open it how you're supposed to. So I'm just gonna cut the box right there. Oh, this is disc resurfacing. That's not fun. It did say disc resurfacing on it, I just didn't read it. This one, another game from eBay. Still on that N64 grind. We have a Conker's Bad Fur Day. And this has the Blockbuster stickers on it. Usually that's a pretty good way to tell that it's a legit copy. Um, but yeah, came in a plastic universal case, but there's a bunch of broken plastic of the case in here. <laughs> so probably toss that in our, we have a bin of stuff that we sell just like two things for a dollar. Usually throw that kind of stuff in there. This one is very fragile. And it's another N64 game. <laughs> the cheapest one so far but the most well protected. Ugh. Perfect dark. I'm saving the two bigger boxes for last here. First one. I'm not sure this, the last one is from a game store for sure, UGA Games in Columbus, Ohio. This one is Skellington Entertainment. I'm not sure if this was a, a game store or not. The name sounds familiar. And it is from another game store. Ooh, remember we were opening some packages last week and I told you guys that there was, I thought that there was a game from my collection in there. Turns out it was in this box instead. So, what? It didn't come with a manual. It was supposed to have a manual. Oh, no. I'm pretty it's sure. To have a manual. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to. Anyway, I guess I'm not keeping this one unless we have a manual, but it's Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. For some reason, this game is really, really hard to find. It's not super expensive, but no manual. So I'll check our stuff. If we do have one, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, we're gonna be selling it here in the store. There's a couple N64 games in here, Robotron and Batman some uncommon ones. 
Then we have some more GameCube here. We have Black and Bruised. No manual. Odama. That one definitely feels complete. Second Sight. No manual. And Space Raiders. That one is complete. We actually have a manual for this, so I figured if it didn't come with one, that'd be okay. But the one I really wanted was not complete. But that's okay. We might have a manual. I'll check after we finish up this last box here. Hi, Abby. Hi. This one is from UGA Games. Oh, what was that last one from? Iceman Video Games in Ontario, Lindsay, Ontario, Canada. But this one is UGA Games. First, we have Evolution 2 for the Dreamcast. There's a bunch of N64 games in here. We have Game Boy games. Oh, Game Boy and Game Gear. Cosmo Tank. Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi and Sonic the Hedgehog 1. We have NES games. We have Micro Machines. And then two copies of Kirby's Adventure. <laughs> Whoa is not in the correct case but Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric for the Wii U it's in like a clear DVD case uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U Some of All Fears for the GameCube that one is complete and then it looks like the rest is N64 so we have three copies of Blast Core I just put one of these in the glass case and that was our only one so now we have four copies we have Micro Machine 64 Turbo. Hey You Pikachu. We have like four extra VRUs, which is the microphone adapter. We just have to get the actual microphones for them. It's probably worth it to complete those. Oh, second Hey You Pikachu. Tom and Jerry, Fists of Fury, or Furry. Uh, much cleaner copy than the other one we have in stock. Tarzan, Ridge Racer 64, and another Micro Machines. And that is it for that one, so. Some awesome packages. Hopefully this stuff is entered by the time you guys see this video. I just went and checked, unfortunately, they do not have, or we do not have a manual for this and there's none on eBay right now either. Beverage update, we need to get more. These ones are so expensive to have shipped because they're super heavy and we're out of a lot of them again. And the regular sodas, we're down to just two Coke Zeros. I need to go to Winco tomorrow. Okay. Is that a good sandwich? You're welcome. My staff pick is Kid Icarus Uprising. I previously did a staff pick on the Game Boy version of this game, and it was about a 25 year um, difference between that one and this one. Um, but I didn't sell that well, even though it's an incredible game and has a huge uh, cult following now. And made by the creators of Smash Brothers, um, Sakurai himself. They basically made a development stu studio just for this game. And then after the game was over, they shut down the studio and they had a ton of de development problems making it. Um, but it, it's really polished, it's incredible. There's so much to it. There's even an online mode, which is still active. Like you can just hop on a match right now and still find other people to play with. And then there's, of course, the story mode. The story mode's pretty long and in depth. Um, you start each level by having this on-rail shooter part where you're flying in the sky, but you don't control where you go. And then uh, the second half of the level, you go onto the ground and fight enemies on the ground. Um, it's a pretty cool um, gameplay loop because you're doing two different things within each level. And then uh, one of the really cool elements of the game is you can um, synergize weapons together to create different weapons. And there's, there's hundreds. So there's, there's just tons of little things hidden in this game and it's a really good game and it probably won't get a sequel or a remake. Um, I hope it does, but we're just gonna keep climbing value. And part of the reason this is so expensive is because this is the US version. There are UAE copies available for cheaper, um, but yeah, you should give it a shot. Kyle, what? what's all this stuff? I mean, what is it? What is it? 
Let's trade in. Walk us through that. <laughs> You're the trade in king. I'm not. Yes, you are. I didn't do this one. You did that one. So? I did both of those. Why is it so blurry? There we go. Well, Cooper talked to a guy who wanted a AGS 101, the Pokemon one that we had in stock. The reshell. Oh, yeah, the, the Groudon. ruby looking one. Yeah. Yeah. I grabbed on like reshell. But. He was like, hey, I've got some systems I could trade in towards it. And Cooper's like, yeah, you definitely have enough. <laughs> so. Yeah, he was like, he's like, would these cover it? And he had like two regular <laughs> SPs, a micro. And he didn't it, tell me about the DS Lite. Yeah, he's like, I just brought it in. Just. But yeah, I told him, I was like, you're probably gonna have credit left over. <laughs> Plus he brought in Pokemon Moon and Pokemon trading card game and another Game Boy game, Super Mario Land, I think. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, you had plenty. And then the, the 360 from today, right? Yes. And then we've got the 64 with the three controllers. There's a memory card as well, which I think you probably yeah, have already good. seen. Or you'll see later. Um, but yeah, this is normally where like consoles and stuff get put before they're put away, like boxed up. Yeah. And we don't normally show this just because a lot of it's just the same stuff every day. Yeah. It's just, oh, here's another 360 or here's another PS2. And we always have to spend time cleaning it. Normally there would be one person back here to help keep this cleared but we're short yeah two two people today and then we also got these uh blee blue <laughs> I, I i combined blue and we we have a blee controller here <laughs> and then two 360 controllers but as you can see they need to be cleaned but they work yeah and perky little things sold out yeah like it was probably after the latest video. I think if three of them sold immediately, and that was our last three. Yeah. So we shipped out the rest of them earlier today, but I ordered 30 more. We still have Chrono Cross. We still have Chrono Cross. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to order perky little things for, though, because it doesn't, at least the, the distributor that we're getting them from, they don't say how many they have. They also don't say what it's limited to, because I know it's at least somewhat limited. It's not a high production game. Yeah. Um, but. We're, we are getting more, so if you guys were interested in perky little things, we'll have more soon. We still have Chrono Cross, though, if you guys want that one. And then Andro Dunos 2 is completely sold out. We cannot get any more. Yeah. So sad. Uh, the perky little things, though, if you're looking on um, buying one, the packaging is not the greatest. The seal is not good. Yeah. They didn't fill up the space, or they didn't, like, shrink down the cardboard outer sleeve enough to make it, like, a snug fit. So it was just, like, super bendy and... Yeah, they're they're basically all horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, the outer cardboard sleeve, when it gets sealed, it kind of, like, crushes it because there's, there's empty space. Yeah. Yeah, so if you get perky little things, just understand there is not a good seal. There is not a good condition copy out there at all because they're all messed up. Yeah. All the games that you're about to see right now are leftover games from yesterday because it took a lot of time for us to get these bagged and tagged. Um, there's also too many for me to verbally say out loud without getting tongue-tied, so here we go. This is a trade that was brought, uh, dropped off last week. Um, it was a lot of items that we had to sort through tests and everything, so it took us a lot of time to get everything done. He accepted our offer, and we got it processed yesterday. So it's all on the website and it's available. Oh, I just bumped a bunch of stuff. Okay. We have DS. That's an uncommon one. The witch's tail. And we have three DS mixed in here. I remember when Pokemon Conquest was like 15 bucks a couple years ago. Fossil Fighters is a really good one. It's one of our, uh, our newer employee. That's one of their favorites. We got a Chibi Robo Park Patrol in here. You never see that one super often. Then we got some, uh, these are cart only switch games. These uh, we checked for cartridge or for cases for these cartridges, and we did not find any. So these will just be sold as loose. They have been marked down to represent that they are loose cartridge ones. I've heard really good things about Party Planet. 
And then I have a, fr a few friends that have bought Helmet, but they haven't played it quite yet. Okay, and then we have Tetris, Tetris DX, um, Fighters 95, and then some memory card units in here. We got this. Uh, you guys, mm, I don't know if you guys saw this. Troubleshoot. This is from a mail-in trade. So is this one. And then these, these both come with one memory card each, and then there's additional slots for other memory cards. And then these are trade-ins from today. We have a Final Fantasy X for Vita Loose, Super Mario Odyssey, Zoo Tycoon, Call of Duty Ghost, Call of Duty Black Ops. This is the multiplayer zombies only one. This is not the single player as well. This guy, very nice copy of this Super Mario 25th Anniversary Edition, and then this is on a sticky note. And this, and we got Pokemon Sun and Omega Ruby traded in. Guys, we're closed. Yeah, How was today? Busy. Busy? Yeah. It's difficult with three people. Yeah. Essentially. Oh Did you bring something? Yeah. Who that? What the heck is this? Adam, what is this? <laughs> did you do? Who no, did this? I did not do that. <laughs> they just filled it up with all the pigs. <laughs> what the heck? Got some trade-ins for you guys here. Uh, most of that bottom stack is movies. We don't don't um, don't really take movies, but Cooper kind of made me do that, so I blame him. But we got some stuff up here. We got Need for Speed: The Run, 1999. Need for Speed: Most Wanted for the DS, 9.99. Got Final Fantasy X for the Vita. Obviously, there's no 10 2 because that was a download code, 19.99. Super Mario Land, Pokemon Trading Card Game. I will replace the battery in this one. That thing that just fell. Third party memory card for the N64. Pokemon Moon. Uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And Viva Pinata for the 360. Princess Bride UMD. That one's pretty cool. And then the DVDs start here Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. The Living, the Living and the Dead. Sopranos Complete Second Season. No slipcover, so it's just kind of rubber banded uh, shut. Sopranos third season, Ben-Hur DVD, Jurassic Park, the first movie DVD, The Jungle Book Blu-ray, State of Grace, X-Men Days of Future Past, The Vikings, Mrs. Doubtfire, The Hills Have Eyes Unrated, Stockholm, this is factory sealed, Planes, Trains, and Aut Automobiles, this is also factory sealed, got Metropolis Blu-ray, The Last of Us Remastered for PS4, Spider-Man for PS4, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Tetris Worlds, double pack, and Halo 2 for the Xbox. That's it for now. All right, guys. We haven't done this in a long time, but we're gonna empty out all the quarters from the gumball machines. See what's in there. I've never seen this open before. That's how long it's been. Ooh, money. <laughs> just a little bit. The other one's gonna have a lot more. I don't think a lot of people like that flavor. It's just like this super just mint. extreme mint. Extreme mint. All right. We're not gonna count it all just yet, but we will count it after we're done and I'll let you guys know. It's a pain to put back though. Gotta get that part. And then this one has to go through this tiny little hole. Bam. But the other machine that's by the door, that's the one I see people using all the time, not this one. Yeah. Even though this one, the bubble gun's probably a lot better. Okay, other one. All right. Keep up. <laughs> I'm too slow. I got short legs. This is the one that everyone's always using. And a lot of kids are like, oh, can I have a quarter for some gum? 
And then I always use this one. Yeah. But this one looks pretty full too. Do you guys fill it up? Uh, it's been a while. And it's double bubble, but not just the pink one. There we go. <laughs> that one's full. We can open up a second location now. Yes. <laughs> okay. This is like three times what was in the other one. Yeah. We'll count it all and I'll let you guys know how much it was total. Yeah. Many hours later. So after counting it all up, we have $58 in quarters and 10 pence. Someone ripped us off. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. All right, guys, so it's time for us to be heading out, but we wanted to do the question of the day, and I wanted this one to be a little bit different. Um, so Abby and I have been talking more and more about possibly trying to get into some other sort of business. And because, you know, opening the store was, you know, my dream, my goal, all that, but that's not the only thing that I want to do. And I think there's still a lot more work to be done and everything, but I think we're getting close to the point where everybody could run the store without me. Well, they could run the store without me now for sure with Abby's help, but I think we're getting to the point where people, they could run the store without me or Abby at least a few days a week if needed. So um, now I'm beginning to possibly think about maybe starting to do something else. And I'm still planning on doing all the store stuff, still planning on doing eBay and Amazon, still planning on doing YouTube and TikTok and all that. But um, what I think would be really cool is to own a laundromat. And I actually watch a couple YouTubers who do own laundromats and they do videos where they go in and they, they empty out all the quarters like we just did with the gumball machines. Obviously they have a lot more to show than what we did, but I find those videos interesting. And so for the question of the day, I want to know if we did end up buying some sort of laundromat or some sort of business basically where we end up collecting money or coins or whatever, is that something that you guys would be interested in seeing? Because I enjoy watching those videos. I don't necessarily want to film myself, you know, with a ton of money all the time, but it might be fun to do it every now and then and just show like, you know, this is what it's like. And... So let me know in the comments down below. If we do end up doing something like that, would you be interested in seeing it? Uh, my kind of hope or goal would be that we have a laundromat where we either it doesn't require an employee because most of them don't, or if it does, it's just one person who's kind of watching, you know, making sure everything's running smoothly. Um, but collecting the collecting coins and stuff, um, having like uh, like vending machines there, which you could, you know, that would be another source of revenue from that sort of business. I think it'd be a lot of fun and it'd be nice to have something that's way more passive uh, because the game store obviously takes up all of our time. Uh, so having an income source that is a little bit easier to manage and we don't have to spend 10 hours a day on it would be really, really nice. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see. Um, I probably would not put it into these videos unless it was just like one two minute clip of collecting coins or whatever. And obviously this is way, probably probably way far off in the future still, but just wanna know if that is something you guys would be interested in seeing. I could maybe put that onto the St. Cooper channel or something, but I'm just curious what you guys think. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry today's video was not as entertaining, but we were pretty short staffed today and it was really, really busy. So we didn't have a lot of time to kind of film in between customers because there really wasn't any in between customer time. So hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.